During the recording of their 11th album, Abbey Road, notable tensions arose within the Beatles, primarily revolving around a specific track that tested guitarist George Harrison's patience. John Lennon's absence due to a car accident in Scotland led to a period where the band worked as a trio. Upon Lennon's return, he and Yoko Ono secluded themselves in the studio's double bed intensifying the already uneasy atmosphere among the band members. Paul McCartney, leading the project, was resolute in recording Maxwell's Silver Hammer, a song he had penned nearly a year and a half earlier. Despite its profound personal significance to McCartney, his bandmates displayed minimal enthusiasm for contributing to the track, while McCartney himself was hesitant to entertain their input. Meeting McCartney's meticulous standards made the experience particularly demanding, especially for a frustrated Harrison. Reflecting on the recording, Harrison later criticized McCartney's inclination toward what he termed as frivolous songs, like Maxwell's Silver Hammer. Harrison's inspoken discontent with McCartney's pursuit of perfection during the track's recording was palpable. Ringo Starr also voiced his dissatisfaction with the recording process, deeming it the most challenging session ever in a Rolling Stone interview. He detailed the extended process that stretched on for weeks, expressing his belief that it bordered on madness. Despite his bandmates' discontent, McCartney staunchly defended the track. He emphasized his unwavering commitment to perfecting Maxwell's Silver Hammer, even when George Harrison questioned the allocation of three days to just one song. McCartney's determination to realize his artistic vision clashed with Harrison's disapproval, laying bare the intricate dynamics of a democratic process within a band and the inherent tensions it brings.